Well, the Renwick Gallery, part of the Smithsonian, I think is the most beautiful building in the city. The exhibits are always exciting and challenging. My friend Jill Alberg Yo asked me if I would like to co curate an exhibition of Native American women's art. And I said yes immediately. What it actually was going to be. I'm Kiowa. I was born on the Wind River Reservation in Wyoming. I grew up in my mother's trading post. Native women were coming in and selling her beadwork, textiles, pottery. All of those traditional materials were made by women. This exhibit, for me, was an extension of my mother's work to go directly to Native women themselves and ask them questions about their art. We decided that we needed multiple voices involved. We chose 21 women, artists, makers, scholars, to help us understand what this exhibit was going to be about and what was going to be in it. Native women are quite used to doing this as a group, working together in our communities to get things done. This is how we've survived all this time. And this is democracy. Hearts of Our People is the first exhibit that has shown the expanse of time from prehistory through the present that gives us that line in the canon that length of voice that shows these women's contributions over time. For years, I just kept dreaming of this coat. What is it going to look like? What is it going to look like? What is it going to look like? Mm. Finally, I said, I think I'm ready to do it. <laughs> I come from a people who are known as the Iroquois Confederacy. And we have uh, six nations within our Confederacy the Mohawks, the Oneidas, the Onondagas, Cayugas, Senecas, and Tuscaroras. The framers of the U.S. Constitution were well aware of the Iroquois Confederacy, and Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Paine, went to see how this democratic political system that we had put checks and balances on the leadership. And they took those principles and put it into the U.S. Constitution. But the main thing that they did not include was the role of the women. Laws, acts of war, women sat in on every discussion. This is the women's nomination belt. And the role of the women is in this belt. The women's nomination belt is used when a woman is going to be putting up one of the men for leadership. And that was her right through this wampum belt. But it was all based on consensus. We had no hierarchy in our society where men were higher than women or women were higher than men. Everyone had this equal voice. <laughs> 